Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to my channel. In this video, I am going to install Scrape Graph AI with Olama, which means that you can do web scraping with local models, all free, all local, without using or spending a single cent to any API provided model. Before I do that, let's have a quick look at what exactly this Scrapegraph AI is. It is a powerful AI scraping API which has been designed for efficient web data extraction to power LLM applications and AI agents. It enables developers to perform intelligent AI scraping and extract structured information from websites using advanced AI techniques. And why do we need it? The reason being is that you might have heard recently that we have run out of data which is available publicly for large language model training and fine tuning. That is where there is a growing need for synthetic data, the data which we could generate by ourselves to train and fine tune future LLMs or maybe solidify our RAG pipeline as per our own data. That is where scraping the website makes a lot of sense and then converting it into a structured formatted data. We already have covered a lot of tools on the channel which do the same and it seems that Scrape Graph AI is also one good option. One reason being that not only it is a web scraping Python library that uses models but also it uses direct graph logic to create scraping pipelines for websites and local documents which could be in XML, HTML, JSON, Markdown, text or other formats. Now what exactly this direct graph logic means? What it means is that a data structure and approach used to represent and navigate the relationships between data entities extracted from websites or document. A directed graph is a non-linear data structure that consists of nodes or entities connected by directed edges or relationship. This primarily enables this scrape a graph AI to model complex data relationships such as parent child or hierarchical relationships and navigate them efficiently to extract relevant data. So that is what this scrape a graph AI is doing and that is where this word graph comes from. So let's try to get it installed and then for local models I am going to use as I said Olama. If you don't know what Olama is please search my channel. I have covered it like thousands of time in various videos. So before I move forward let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you're looking to rent a GPU on very affordable prices I will drop the link to their website in video's description plus I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on range of GPUs. This is my Ubuntu system and this is my GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. So first up let's create a virtual environment with Konda and then we will start installing this scrape graph AI. And by the way I already have this Olama installed it's very simple to install. Just go to olama.com, click on download and grab this command which says a curl and then ends with his edge. This is for Linux. Just copy it and run it on your local system that should install Olama. For Windows and Mac, just download this executable file and then next, next, next. And that is going to install Olama on your local system. As I said, I already have it. Secondly, you would need two models in order to uh, support the scrape graph AI. one will be LLM second one will be an embedding model for LLM I am going to use this llama 3.2 model all you need to do is to just run this command on your local system or llama run llama 3.2 that is going to install this LLM and then for embedding model I normally go for nomic embed text that's a very good embedding model and for that to run locally just to olama pull nomic embed text why do we need two models? LLM is to actually do the language related task. For example, if you want to scrape the web and then uh, understand that you can, you would be using LLM. Embedding model we use in order to convert the text into numerical representation or embedding. That is what is needed for uh, models to understand our own data because we will be scraping the websites, which is the text, right? So in order 
for model to understand that we need to convert it into numerical representation and that is why we need uh, any embedding model okay so that is the thing with olama let's go back and check okay so our virtual environment is created we have stepped into it as you can see in parentheses on the left this is my olama running i already have olama installed i already have both llm and nomic embed text model there so we are good there next up we need to install this um, scrapecraft ai with some of the dependencies so let me run it installation of scrapecraft ai is quite good and i'm also installing the chrome driver because it uses this headless browser to go and uh, check out the websites so first up you see that i'm installing this scrape graph ai i'm using a recent version let's wait for it to get installed and that is done next up we will be installing our asynchronous io support because it goes to the website takes a bit of a time and then comes back and then we are installing this playwright library which is a browser automation library it is going to take a minute or so so let's wait and everything is installed now and don't worry about these commands i'm going to give you the link where you can find all of these commands okay so next up let me show you how you can use it in the code because installation is finished here i'm just going to go into my one of my local directory i'll just say uh, test script.py i'm just creating a new file and then i'm just opening it in my vs code editor so that i could show you the code so this is the new python file which i have created let me paste the code and then save it and let me show you what is happening here first up we are enabling this asynchronous io we are importing the smart scraper from scrapecraft ai and then we are specifying the configuration where we are specifying this llm llama 3.2 running locally and this is my local host at this port the default or llama port and then this is the embedding model and by the way you can use mistral model for llm or you can use any other embedding model if you like and then this is where we are instantiating that smart scrape graph and for the website i'm just asking it to list me all the maybe i'll just say list me uh, five okay let's go with all it won't give me all one because it is just going to shrink it and then so this is my own website where i'm just asking you to list me all the articles and then i am doing this smart scraper run and then printing out the result so let i have already saved it let's go back and let's run it so this is my terminal let's clear the screen and then let me run it with python 3 and this is our script.py it is running scraping it let's wait for it to come back and there you go you see it has just gone in and produced some of the titles of my articles on my blog let me also quickly show you that and it's a very old blog i think i opened it in like 17 years ago um, and then you see that these are the magic quill solved and all that stuff and if i take you back to my terminal these are the one magic quill solved and all that so all the article titles top of i think from the first page it has given me all the titles so this is how you run this crop graph uh, script graph ai with olama all local all private no api key required and it is quite good there are a lot of other options which you can use by the way with, the, with this script graph ai but i will be doing other videos where i will be showing you how can you use it with for example with langchain you can also use their api based solution which i think i will also do a video on uh, if you don't want to use local uh, models so that's it i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think about it if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please do me a favor and share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching